after Allah saved Ibrahim السلام, from that fire and he is walking away from his people, Lut السلام, will go to his people. Ibrahim السلام, is making hijrah, he's migrating and he has his wife Sara. And as he is on his way out, there are a number of du'as that he makes as he's walking away. And you can imagine the closeness that he had to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those moments. He just witnessed that great miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the things that he says in those moments is, Wala tukhzini yawma yub'athun. Do not disgrace me on the day that we are all resurrected. Yawma la yanfa'u malun wala banun. A day in which wealth nor children will avail a person. Illa man atallaha bi qalbin salim. Except for the one who comes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sound heart. And that's all Ibrahim Islam has at this point, is returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sound heart. But it's just really powerful to think about the fact that he just experienced a humiliating, traumatic moment in this life. And as he's calling upon Allah, he's saying, Ya Allah, don't let me be disgraced in the next life. Don't let me be humiliated in the next life. There's a narration where the Prophet ﷺ gives us this incident where Ibrahim ﷺ actually sees his father on the day of judgment and his father is covered in dust and humiliated. And Ibrahim seeing his father, he says to him, why did you disobey me? And his father says that I won't disobey you today, O my son. And Ibrahim ﷺ looks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, didn't you promise me that you wouldn't humiliate me on this day? And look at my father and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Jannah has been forbidden for the idolaters. And Ibrahim ﷺ, uh, looks down and he sees an animal, a slaughtered animal. And that animal is grabbed by its legs and thrown into the fire. SubhanAllah, his father who had once thrown him into a fire and Ibrahim Islam still has empathy and love for his father. And so he doesn't see his father in flesh be thrown into the fire, but an animal that is his father thrown into the fire. And that is a different fire altogether. And so that's a painful thing that Ibrahim Islam has to deal with throughout, which is he loved his father and he still wanted good for his father. And he's still making dua for his father, even after his father had done that to him and even on the day of judgment. But there's something particular about the honor of Ibrahim السلام, on the day of judgment that I want to speak about. Uh, Khizi is more than anything else entering into the fire, right? That's the greatest form of humiliation that a person could encounter on the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. But it's really more than that, right? Ibrahim is saying that the humiliation of this world is nothing. Imagine the gathering in the hereafter where all of the creation of Allah is gathered and you receive your book in your left hand and the people mock you and laugh at you and you are humiliated knowing that your fate has been sealed. May Allah protect us. On the other hand, a person who receives their book in their right hand, going through the gatherings of the people on the day of judgment, people they knew and people they didn't know and saying, ha umuqra'u kitabia, everyone read my book. I know where I'm going. I knew this day would come and I know where I'm going. I'm going to Al-Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst them. But there is something special about Ibrahim On that day, the Prophet ﷺ said that we will all be resurrected and we won't have clothes. At least initially, we won't have clothes. And Aisha asked the Prophet ﷺ, won't the men and the woman be looking at each other? And the Prophet ﷺ said that the matter is too severe for them to even notice as the people are gathered without titles, even without clothes. And the Prophet ﷺ said, man yuksa yawm al -qiyama, Ibrahim. The first person to have his robe given to him is Ibrahim ﷺ. This is so powerful, so powerful, connected to the moment where Ibrahim was just stripped of his clothes. And some of the scholars say the fire burnt off his clothes. Some say he was stripped and then thrown into the fire. And some say the fire burnt off his clothes, but not him. But he just witnessed that moment of humiliation and he asked Allah, don't disgrace me on the day of judgment. And look what Allah does for him. On the day of judgment, when no one has their clothes, Ibrahim السلام, is clothed with the robes of paradise. Some of the scholars say that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes up for him, compensates him for what he suffered for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these moments, right? His clothes were consumed or his clothes were taken from him in this world for the sake of Allah. And so 
His clothes are given to him on the day of judgment before everyone else by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah dresses him first on the day of judgment. And I want you to imagine for a moment what this means, the honor of that and what this means. That when Ibrahim was in that gathering, Ibrahim was the only one undressed and humiliated in front of the people who all had their worldly clothes and their robes. On the day of judgment, there will be a moment where every single human being that Allah has created is without clothes, without robes, and it's only Ibrahim salam. Talk about being distinguished. It is only Ibrahim salam that is dressed. And so that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala restores what was wrongfully taken from the one who says, Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. And there's a worldly element to this as well as an element of the hereafter. As far as the worldly element of this, look at the Prophet salam in Ta'if. Right after the Prophet salam experienced the rejection and humiliation of the people of Ta'if, Soon after, Allah facilitated for him Medina, where the people came out from their homes and waited for him for weeks and weeks to see when he would come. And they all surrounded him, wanting to embrace him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wanting to dedicate themselves to him. But the greatest honor is Yawma Yub'athun, is the day that they would be resurrected. On that day, when Ibrahim Alaihi Wasallam is dressed and honored in a way that no one else is dressed and honored, the Prophet Sallallahu who was once rejected and taunted by the people of Ta'if and by the people of Mecca, every single human being wants the shafa'a, wants the intercession of the Prophet Sallallahu May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala gather us around the fountain of the Prophet Sallallahu and honor us on that day and restore for us whatever we lost for his sake in this life.